It is a lightweight bout between Tony Ferguson and Conor McGregor. With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. What a career this man has carved out since his time on The Ultimate Fighter. One season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter and picked up exactly where he left off, dusting qualified lightweights left and right, finishing nearly everyone along his path to contention. Tony Ferguson, at some point, you gotta think, Joe, will find that UFC belt right around his waist. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He's down five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony Alcacui Ferguson! And the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? So we are underway. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Opens up with a front kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Visibly limping here. Nice. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Jab starting to get established. Oh! And he eats a right hand there. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, elbow to the head. Protect yourself. Posture's up here and now going to the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Ferguson. And back up to his feet. Inside leg kick is there for El Cucu. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Good shot. I like the way he mixed that up here. Well, not a good look there, Joe, as he eats a shot to the body. It looks like he's becoming increasingly more vulnerable to that strike. Certainly left the body wide open on that one. That one hurt. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Conor. He's taking some shots now. 
Oh, tags him nicely with that uppercut, Joe. Conor McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Nice punch there by Tony oh, Ferguson. Oh, big oh, left hand. Huge oh, right hand. Big punch. And he winds up on top. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Clean left punch followed by the right. Trying to hammer that lead leg. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Slips the punch nicely there. That kick from the southpaw position. He loves that left to the body. Ferguson gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. He's limping. He appears to be injured. Goes down again. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Both hooks hit. And now he's working from full mount. What an end to round one. And there is the horn. He survives to see another round, but multiple knockdowns there. Big round from Ferguson. Complete, total dominance, and man, did he put a beating on his opponent. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Conor McGregor gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice punch by Ferguson. Conor McGregor with some body shots. Nice punch by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Beautiful inside leg kick. Unbelievable. Excellent movement here on the ground. And really starting to make these shots count. Oh, look at that. He establishes back control. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Oh, hammer fist here by Ferguson. He's looking to take the back. Just over three minutes to go. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has really found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's out, it's over. Wow, nasty ground and pound for the win. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound, and it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next, and ultimately the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Check it out here. Crank right on the jaw. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony El Ferguson!
Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with Eddie Bravo and the rest after yet another massive performance here tonight.